Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Natasha from Divine Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I created a three layer cake topper using Pick Art, Bazaar, and my Cricut Joy. I'm not going to go into a step by step. I just recorded and I added some notes in between the videos. So that should help you. If you're looking for a more detailed video on how to create the layers, please check out the description below. I have a tutorial that tells you exactly how to create the different layers using the same exact app. So once our design is finished, then I am going to show you how I cut it out and how I glued everything together. So keep watching. It will get very detailed towards the end. And remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy Crafting Cricut videos. Thanks for watching and keep watching till the end because that's when we're going to put our cake topper together. Thanks, y'all. All right, now that we have everything designed and I've showed you all the apps I use to create the different layers, we're going to go ahead and cut everything out. So we're going to use our long standard grip mat for the Cricut Joy, which is four and a half by 12 inches. We're also going to use my um, foam dot stickers, which I believe I purchased from May May Make It. Not sure. We're going to be using my art glitter glue from purchased through May May Make It. And here is the cardstock we're going to use for this design here. So just to give you another look, this is the one I've already done. And now we're going to cut out the new one. So our first cut is our yellow but this is more not as yellow yellow but I had already cut this out so we're not going to waste it go ahead and insert once we insert it it's going to go ahead and pull it all the way through to make sure that it's straight get that out the way and we're going to adjust our settings here which we're using cardstock i am going to put more and then once you have everything selected correctly you have no warning signs you can go ahead and press uh-oh i'm sorry y'all wait a minute let's switch that because we're doing the yellow let's hit cancel we're going to make sure we're on the right cut so there we go on the top one we have a four and a half by 12 mat. It's on the mat. We don't need the mirror because we're not using HTV. We're going to continue. We're going to pull the mat out so it can reset itself. 
in, put it back in, and now we're going to do the same thing over, medium cardstock. We're going to change the default, adjust, um, adjust the pressure here, and we're going to put more. Now we're ready to press go. And as you see here, it's getting ready. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one. So this one's done. Always flip it over because we don't want it to be curling. So that's the one layer there. All right, so now it's time to cut out the next piece. Now, even though it's blue on our screen, this is the color glitter that we're going to use. So it is good to choose the color on screen on your canvas so that you know everything matches. But that's what I use for my first cut here. So the second cut, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. We're going to go ahead and select my... All right, I'm going to unload and we're going to close this for a moment and let's see what we have here. Flip our mat over. Uh oh. Looks like our eye got stuck here. Uh oh. Let's make sure we don't lose none of our letters here. Let's put that back down here. Maybe if I do it like this. Ooh, be easier. Definitely be careful on being like rough. And this is glitter paper. It's a little thick. There we go. All right, y'all. So I'm going to have to do the rest of this video as a voiceover because my children were being super loud. So basically, I'm peeling off the letters from the mat very carefully. As you see here, just peel it right on off the mat is the standard grip so it is very sticky so let's see got all of our letters off clean it off and now we need to cut the black which is, this is a 110 pound cardstock from michael's i love this paper it is very sturdy it's great for boxes cake toppers cards everything so we have everything cut out we have our back layer which is the black one we have our offset which is that cream one and then we have our letters i am going to be using art glitter glue to glue the letters down you don't need a lot of glue you just need a little bit because it's um it's great it's amazing i use this glue for everything so never mind the fact that i moved my paper and kind of lost my <laughs> straight of thought and thought it, it, it was upside down so i'm glad i caught it and with this glue, you do have a few moments to make adjustments, but after that, it's stuck for good because it works with a lot of different materials, not just paper. So as you see, I'm just adding a little bit of glue on the back of the letters all around and just sticking them down. And when I, then I'm going to use my 3D foam or my, uh, those right there I just showed you. It's going to give it a little dimension so it can pop off the back layer and you only need a few don't don't overdo it so there we go it's it that's it so um i think it turned out amazing and it's all cut with the cricut joy so i know a lot of people was asking if the cricut joy could make cake toppers and yes and if it can make a cake topper it can make cupcake toppers so thanks for watching